Hi, it's evening time and uh, I've just decided to get down to doing some painting, doing something. It was kind of inspired by um, a piece I read in the artist's way. Um, I'll just show it to you actually. It's very one second. Mm, this is the artist's way. Highly recommend it, written by Julia Cameron ages ago. But, um, and she's got more books out recently, which I want to get. Uh, well, more recently, but still years ago. Anyway, she says here, um, when these large tasks are not accomplished or even begun, the blocked artist calls that laziness. Do not call the inability to start laziness. Call it feel, fear. Fear is the true name for what ails the blocked artist. It may be fear of failure or fear of success. And then uh, further down the page, she says, the need to be a great artist makes it hard to be an artist. The need to produce a great work of art makes it hard to produce any art at all. And later on, she says, don't call procrastination laziness, call that fear too, because fear is what blocks an artist. The fear of not being good enough, the fear of not finishing. Anyway, so that kind of, I was sitting on the swinging seat reading that, drinking a cup of coffee, and uh, I thought, I want to do some art. I just want to do something, to do something creative. And, um, and I know it's good medicine for me. So rather than kind of trying to figure out anything, I just thought I'm just going to come in and uh, do uh, drawing. And the reason I'm in here rather than in the studio is because I wanted to do the rocking horse. Those of you who've been on the 30 days before will have seen regular collages and things of the rocking horse. It's my muse. I never get tired of uh, painting the rocking horse. So I've got a plan today now, a little bit of a plan. Um, I want to use a variety of materials and things. So we've got old clothes on. I just um, kicked Lily out of the living room. No, she wasn't impressed, but this won't take long because it's just a 10 minute video. Okay. Yeah, so my kind of rough plan for beginning was um, to use this acrylic Wedgwood Blue. I just felt that I wanted to use something to make a fairly dynamic, big, bold kind of statement. So just using the, the roller and the blue paint, I'm going to paint something down for the background there. Let's just see. Okay, that's about as far as the plan goes. <laughs> so now I want to find I think the shape of the rocking horse, I'm going to see if I can sculpt it out of this. But I wanted to keep myself um, interested and doing something with a big sweeping statement like that to begin with. It allows there to be something new happen. Like, okay. could really do with a bin. designated this a bin. I'm trying to find the blue. Ah, here we are. Because I thought that this bit of paper might work for the seat of the rocking horse. Just to bring in a bit of pattern. some Indian ink or what about this sepia coloured ink this is quite a nice colour I'll show you so this this is De La Roni, uh sepia coloured ink and it's quite a nice colour might be good for the rocking horse I reckon I don't know how long it takes to dry but there'll be ways around it if it's not dry I can do things See how it goes. Okay. Hmm. And I mean the, the blue paint won't be dry underneath, so it might just be lifting off the blue paint is still what I'm doing more than applying anything. That was quite a statement, wasn't it? That blue. 
this is um these are uh what are they called ink tents they're um drawing these are uh, water soluble um water soluble kind of chalks so when I paint on over it it dissolves okay I think I will go for the Indian ink now because that's probably dark enough to really make an impact over the Wedgwood blue at the bottom as well. Have the, the legs kind of swing forward and down so it has something with that, that curve there with the Indian ink as well. So it's come, coming down like that and we'll have the red the red bit coming out here maybe something in collage again would describe that. I just want to capture the feel of the, the limbs of the rocking horse. Just the direction of them, really. And maybe I'll go for the CPA again because I do quite like the colour of that. It's like an, an old fashioned, it's got an old fashioned feel to it. I very often don't manage to finish the videos here, and so if you want to see the end result, go to the Facebook page. It's called 30 Days of Art with Anya, and you'd be more than welcome to join. But you need to ask join and then I can add you. Oh, I'm going to find some collage, I think. Come on right here. Do you know, I can't see anything really bright red enough, so I'm going to go for the... Um, I love that, though. That's quite good, isn't it? That's the thing that the um, pins came in. Find my um, glue again. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm gonna put it along here somewhere to represent that bit of the red. Hmm. side of it. some cadmium red paint. Maybe got some here as well, just straight from the tube. Oh, I wonder what's the next biggest thing I can do. I'm kind of still waiting on this paint. Although, do you know what? It's pretty dry there, actually. Yeah, so let's see if this is going to have more of an impact now. I want to be able to kind of find things a little bit more decisively. Mm. Quite a graceful shape, this rocking horse. And it's for sale. Heron's wanting to sell it for the last few years. So if you're interested, you can send me a message. I don't want to sell it, I like it. Just because it inspires me. <laughs> so I'm mixing the um sepia coloured ink with the Indian ink. And now I want to put something here. And again, I think probably collage is the best idea there. Something to break up that bit. Erin and her pals are upstairs getting ready to go to a party tonight. 
Yeah, finished.